What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and we have some analytics around the day off Twitch yesterday. And while the media is trying to hype it up like Jeff Bezos was totally uh, alone in his bedroom crying into his, his pillow over a few small streamers taking the day off, there were some legitimate numbers that got hurt. I suspect it's probably because, you know, one of the largest streamers on the platform, Tim the Tatman, chose to leave. But they're happy to pretend like all of this was because of them. If you look at the article, Twitch stats have been decimated by a day off Twitch. Viewers have started to boycott Twitch in large numbers after an online campaign to ditch the site dubbed a day off Twitch went viral. Never went viral. Um, and again, 500,000 people, you know, it's not nothing. There certainly were people that took the day off and there was an effect, but I don't think it's going to change anything. And again, I also thought this was a really dumb position to take because you're, you're, you're pretending that like Twitch wanted this. You're pretending like Twitch was actively endorsing these hate raids. Essentially what was happening is people were using bots to raid channels and, and, and use slurs. It was dumb, you know, kid stuff. Um, I'm not saying that it's okay or that, you know, I'm not trying to minimize it too much, but at the end of the day, there are already tools that you could use. You could turn your chat to emote only mode or a wide variety of other ways to get rid of it. Sub only mode, members only mode, or whatever the case is. Uh, but people love to have their little causes to, to stick it to the man on. Um, you could see the protests come during a very difficult time for the website with hate raids proving to be a lightning rod in the community. These have led to some streamers being overwhelmed with abusive and sometimes, excuse me, sometimes mean language. Players have been calling for swift and strong action against these, despite repeated responses from Twitch chiefs that action will soon be taken to prevent them. In their latest attempt to force faster changes on the platform, a boycott has been organized to say, uh, and it's fair to say it's hitting a viewership hard. I don't think it is, actually. Um... To the full extent, the damage may not be on record, but early signs show that Twitch was taking one heck of a hit on September 1st. As seen in a tweet from Zach Boosie, preliminary data shows up to 5,000 fewer streamers were online during the time of writing. Versus what, though? Versus the day before? I mean, were there a wide variety of reasons for this? I'm sure. Uh, he said, according to charts from Twitch Tracker, there are currently about 5,000 fewer streamers live right now than last week and 500,000 fewer viewers. That's a significant drop. It is, but you know how the saying goes, there's lies, there's damn lies, and then there's statistics. There's a wide variety of reasons this may be the case. It's undoubted. You know, it, It's without a doubt that some number of viewership was affected by this boycott, so to speak. But to me, volunteering to not make money and to not entertain my viewers isn't exactly an effective way to um, tell my boss that I'm unhappy. Uh, you know, I, I stream at Twitch or at twitch.tv slash the quartering. Also on my uh, uh, quartercast channel, I'll link both of them in the pinned comment below. I've been streaming a lot of Final Fantasy XIV online. But I'll probably mix up games soon, especially when Far Cry comes out and New World and Ashes of Creation. These are all games that I want to mix in and I want to enjoy with you all. Um, so make sure you subscribe or follow those channels. Uh, I, you know, I, I don't think that volunteering to, to, to do worse by your viewers, um, which is really what you're doing, uh, is a good, good thing to do. Um, I think having everybody stream with like, you know, a message or a banner or something like that, that would have been more effective. While the online walkout is expected to last just one day, there are a number of other factors that may have impacted the platform's viewership. During a day off Twitch, the unfortunately timed exit of one of Twitch's biggest streamers. Hmm, I wonder why. I wonder, I wonder if that could have had anything to do with it. Um, that news came just a day after his friend, Dr. Lupo, joined the likes of Dr. Disrespect, Valkyrie, and Courage, and others in a club of exclusive YouTube gaming contracts. So you went to t talk about Tim the Tatman. I don't know what his average number was on Twitch, probably 50,000. Um, and Dr. Lupo, maybe similar. That's a huge chunk of people not viewing. Uh, he went on to state that there were around 12,000 fewer streamers online during the day compared to the week before. The tracker also states views and the day were at 3.5 million compared to 4.5 million the week before. Um, so maybe, you know, 
again though, if you look at two weeks ago, four million viewers. Last week, four point three. This week, three point five. So you could argue that it's down five hundred thousand, but you could also argue that how much of that was you know from Dr. Lupo and Tim not being there. As for the total number of streamers, there's 119,000 live right now. That's down 12,000 from this time a week ago and down 13,000 from two weeks ago. Again, are they, is there, you know, a reason for it? It's difficult to say. You know, I tuned in to um, Tim the Tatman's first YouTube stream. And of course, these first streams always garner a ton of interest. Um, and it had somewhere peaked at around 110,000 viewers. Uh, I'm assuming that's significantly higher than his average viewership. In fact, why don't I just look um, real quick? Uh, let's go. Timmy. Timmy Tenders. Take a look. Here he is. Not a great picture of him. Looking much more healthy now. Uh, so he averaged 36,000 viewers. So And he peaked at 50,000. So <coughs> I overstated it a little bit. Uh, you know, if we look at Dr. Lupo who I'm not even familiar with, but I do know that they're a big streamer. Um, he averages 10,000 viewers with 26,000 peak. So maybe 75,000 all in on a, on a good day combined. So no, that doesn't answer for all of it. Um, but, you know, a lot of people are deciding to move to YouTube. And there's a lot of feelings about it. You saw XQC totally not salty about it, even though he's salty about it. Writing, um, he says Twitch streamers are only joining YouTube for money. Yeah. So says the guy, by the way, who is the largest streamer on Twitch and is a multimillionaire. So, I mean, do you think that if YouTube offered him a huge bag to leave Twitch that he wouldn't? Of course he would. Uh, you have a mass exodus, exodus, exodus of his streamers leaving YouTube continues to ramp up its high profile poaching raiders. As of writing, Dr. Lupo, Courage, and Tim the Tatman have all taken exclusive YouTube deals. This monumental move has obviously become as a, come as a huge surprise to both Twitch and fans alike. There are even rumblings that Nick Merckx will have a huge, huge move coming up. Popular Twitch streamer XQC has called out the recent streamer exodus, stating that all the moves are purely down to monetary incentives. Yeah. He writes, don't get me wrong. I'm not dumping on people for that switch platforms. Yes, he is. Uh, I hope that these people don't make stories or random speculations about why they moved. This is purely about money. Um, yeah. Uh, it's also about feeling wanted. You know, I saw Asmongold yesterday talk about, you know, there are times that I, that dude had, you know, 100,000 people watching him and Twitch never offered him any kind of an exclusive contract. So there's something to, you know, feeling wanted by the person you're literally busting your, you know, busting your rear for working every day. Um, now, I talked about this yesterday. If I had the opportunity to cash out, you know, even if it was to some totally, you know, if one of these new, you know, alt tech companies like Rumble or, or um, BitChute was like, I'll give you 5 million bucks to never produce content on YouTube again and produce it here. I would take it in a heartbeat and I wouldn't pretend like it was about anything but money. Um, I think that they're risking a lot less going to YouTube, especially if YouTube can kind of bring over, you know, a half a dozen more. You can't just bring over one or two people. You need to bring over like a dozen or 15 of the top streamers on Twitch, bring them all over at once because it's the tide that raises all boats uh, and you see here you know why YouTube gaming is better well there's a lot I mean yes he got a huge bag to go there but also you know the video quality better the bit rates better uh, more people can view YouTube while they're at work YouTube just has a lot more eyeballs than than twitch does the discoverability remains an issue on twitch uh, and they really are on YouTube and they really really need to See, why are streamers leaving Twitch for YouTube? One obvious reason, big money deals. When Tim's move was announced September 1st, there were rumblings that it could signal the start of an avalanche for Twitch, with fans speculating, speculating who would be the next domino to fall and switch allegiances from purple to red. Um, you know, it's difficult to say because we don't know how big the money really is. Um, you know, if, if they give Timmy tenders like 10 million bucks... It's like a no-brainer, but Timmy also signed up at least 10,000 paying monthly subscribers in the first one hour. 
that he was streaming. So if he has the same deal as me, which he doesn't, that's guaranteeing him $25,000 a month in money. Let's say he doubles that by the end of his stream. He'll be making 50 grand a month minimum. Now, when you have an exclusive deal with YouTube, you know, for me, people that join as a member are extremely helpful, but YouTube keeps like half of that. I'm sure that for Timmy, it's like maybe none of that or maybe a much lesser amount. And uh, I, for one, think that this, of course, can be the tide that raises all boats, but YouTube's got to get more, even more aggressive. They can't just pick up one or two of these people every few months. They need to go get 20 of them and, and really put, you know, put $50 million into talent. And then obviously you need to, you know, quickly address the discoverability on the platform too. Uh, I'm happy for this. I think this is good for everybody. This is also good for people on Twitch, but it's been interesting to watch. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.